Welcome back, everybody, to the adventures of the High Chief Best Nanblex Wagner, which is already an incredible start to an episode. So thank you all, firstly, for your incredible suggestions with what to add to the Dungeon Master. There were, at the time of recording, there are currently 592 comments on yesterday's episode, and it's been less than 24 hours. Uh, I received messages over Discord. I think I got about 200 suggestions over Discord. I got... Many private messages over Discord as well. I got a shitload over Twitter. I've just been sat on all sides. So out of the, I would guess, about 1,000 suggestions have been sent my way, I've added four. I've added four. Uh, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of work. Okay, I'll be honest with you. To record and edit three episodes a day and also mod CK2 and sleep and eat. It's, it's a lot going on. Um, like I said, I am trying to go through them all. But if, for whatever reason, what I'll do then is I'll make a point of replying to the comments that I definitely plan on adding. Because I don't want to spoil which ones get added to the mod. Um, I do have a master design document up that I could share, I guess. But it would, again, spoil what goes in. What I'll do is I'll reply to the comments and basically give you a, co a confirmation that I'm actually adding it. If you don't get a reply, leave the comment again. I guess that's the only way we can do it. Or, shit, I mean, that's going to be so difficult to go through. Yeah, leave the comment again. Um, I was going to say we'll leave them all on the same episode. But that'll get confusing if there's, like, multiple comments saying the same thing. So... You're going to have to bear with me because it's obviously going to take a very, very long time. I am just one person doing everything. But the four suggestions I've added are incredible. And I think they're going to be a lot of fun. Now, what I've also done is I've set it back to the way it should be, in my opinion, in terms of balance. And that is happening every 10 years rather than every five. I did it as five years, like I said, just to really give you guys an idea of what to expect. So today, I'm expecting just pure chaos. Just pure chaos to sweep across this realm and, and destroy everything. And we, tiny little High Chief Destinamblex, the three-year-old Polish heretic, has to try and hide while everything around her burns. I think we'll just play CK2. I think we'll just focus on playing it as we normally would. We've got a decent guardian. Focus on our education. Focus on, on getting older. We've got rich childhood and things like that. So we can, we can be nice and involved in our character while simultaneously waiting for everything to go to shit. Your stable master. Ah, this is good. The stable master shows you a fine pony and lifts you on. It's time you learn how to ride. Faster, go faster. 60% chance of playful. 30% chance of rowdy. 10% chance of wounded. Or get my bearings first gives us conscientious or timid. Out of all of these, I mean, timid is pretty terrible, right? So we'll just go for the top one. Playful is pretty good. Rowdy would be pretty good because I think we probably want to go for a martial education. Bear in mind, we am. We, we am? <laughs> we am tribal. It do be like that. So... I think a good military leader to really help us maybe conquest some other Polish territories, maybe go up into Pomerania, Pomeralia, Ruthenia, Pruthenia, um, try and unify a little bit and bulk up, then move into Germany and try and get the HRE. What we could even do is swear fealty to Otto. But I want to keep independence as long as possible. Maybe if we start getting people knocking on our front door, that's when we'll swear fealty to Otto. Look at this man. Master Seducer Attractive. Dreamt of the beautiful streets of a port city. What? He's also activated his 2G tower there as well. This is this is cursed. Earwax li lip balm. <laughs> God, I wish I knew what was going on. Um, bear in mind, a lot of this is added by Viet, which are which are events that I'm not really too clued into. I think it recently got a pretty large update recently as well. Anyway, go faster, go faster. What do we get? We got playful. Playful's not bad. Gregarious, deceitful, or lunatic, all of which are good as far as I'm concerned. Helps out diplomacy. I, I did want to go for a... Martial education, but that doesn't hamper a martial education. So we haven't got much to worry about. I will write to Chief Des Fly 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 but Fly Attack, um, an Irish lady. No, I'm not writing to her. Another chance of rowdy. 60% chance of haughty, which is pretty bad. 40% at rowdy. We want to go for rowdy. We, we want rowdy, so I'm just going to go for it. Oh, we actually got it. Fantastic. Playful rowdy is a fantastic start to Namblex. And she's going to need to be good, bearing in mind some of the shit that you guys have suggested that we're going to be up against today. In theory. Again, it's all random, so we might be or we might not be. Um Vivislav asked me to Vis Vislav asked me to get some things from him at the market. Um I don't see why not. He gains indolent, which is just fucking him over, and he's our rival. He's a half brother. Oh, and he's our rival too. Oh, he came out quick and attractive. Shit. And we got nothing. Very easy money. Fine, let's screw let's screw him over. He got the genetics, let's screw him over in terms of personality. You know what? Faith. Now we've got the choice of Affectionate Playful, which I think is a terrible choice either way because Affectionate works against Marshall. We've already got Playful. Or we've got the choice of Haughty or Fussy. Haughty is bad, but if we get Fussy, that becomes Patient. Oh, look at this. Nanblex. She's just nailing it. Every single 
a good outcome we've got so far. We're going to get fucking murdered, aren't we? Um, we don't need another priest. So what I've actually noticed as well is that we can get our court chaplain to proselytize in foreign realms. So we could potentially make... We, I mean, better mind we're disorganized heretic. We're just going to send them out there to proselytize in the name of the mighty Nancy. Uh, I hope we can name the religion after Nancy. That would, that would be horrible if we couldn't. Um... Should we send him to the Polish capital to convince him of the good word of Nancy? I feel like we need to get ourselves a good, a, a nice base right now. Bear in mind, we are still Slavic in our capital. So try and convert that to the worship of Nancy first. Then we'll move over to the capital. Oh, there we go. That's exactly what I expected. Everything was going so well. And now we have a chance to kill our mother. Oh, it's so tempting. What are her traits? Playful, rowdy. I think she would do it. She's playful and rowdy. Charge. We didn't kill her. We just gave her a black eye. <laughs> and guarantee curious too. Wow. Okay. Guarantee curious. That can become shrewd. Oh, fuck. We're going to die. <sighs> we're fine. Oh, that legendary man. Plus two. That's minus three, right? Oh, it's okay. We're fine. We've got nothing to worry about. We're actually good. Thank fuck for that. No. A rash now? The flu again? You can't catch the flu when you've had it. That's impossible. You couldn't possibly catch the flu twice. See, I told you. It's a good job I'm the... Wait, what did we do to that kid? He's become Bulgarian. Oh. Okay. And he also... Did he flip religion? I don't believe so. Oh, my God. Our mother had another child. Uh... Whose kid is this? Sorry, whose man's is this? Uh... Okay. That's good. That's not going to cause us any issues, I'm sure. Idolizer. Now, Idolizer isn't bad, but it says melee to Idolizer. Yeah, getting the idol idolizer is not bad at all. It can become frail, but zealous or erudite are worth, I think, the gamble at potentially becoming frail. I mean, zealous, especially with a martial character, go hand in hand. And erudite isn't bad either for your education side of things. She's coming out really well. Like, these traits are a hell of a lineup. The guy that was elected king fuck yesterday as well, the guy that uh, impregnated 20 ru rulers' wives, has been going around slaying all of his rivals. Obviously, the ones that, uh, the ones that had their kids... Or, or didn't get away with it, basically. Because bear in mind that he's got a chance for... To, to basically get away with it, but still not recognize the kid. He's got a chance to get away with it and legitimize the kid. Or he's got, he, or he can just straight legitimize them. Um, man, I'm, I'm surprised he ended up with as many rivals as he did in that case. And he's already just killed one. Another one? Mother. Oh, we found out who it was. Fucking Bozidar. Fucking Bozidar. You are on my kill list. May lead to Willful. If we get Willful and Rowdy, we've got the ultimate martial education. Come on. Fuck. Oh, that's a shame. We might not get another opportunity to grab that one. Oh my god, what's going on here? Oh, that's my nanny. Why every everyone is running around in a frenzy. A comment in the sky, she exclaims. Look, there, it's an omen from the heavens. Surely the end of days, we're all going to die. We can scream. Uh, gain two piety. 33% chance of no effect. 33% chance of... Okay, so let's look at the negatives here. This one is only good. Conscientious, brooding, willful, or curious. They're all good. I think willful... Whatever gives the highest chance of willful is the one I've got to go for. 20% chance of willful there. 25% chance of willful there. The downsides to that are fussy or conscientious. We've already got fussy. Conscientious is good. Diligent or temperate. I think I'm going to go for that one. We got nothing. That was unfortunate, but... Hey... Maybe there'll be another shot, given how many chances actually thrown Willful at us here. So close to perfection. Uh, she is going to try and teach us about the Bible. Oh, she's secretly converted. This is stupid. Get out of here. Oh, she's Orthodox, specifically. Okay. Um, well, then. What have we got the choice of? Uh, oh, Idolizer works against Marshall. I actually didn't remember that. That's my bad. I guess Intrigue, then. What do you think? Intrigue is going to come out the best. So I think we'll go for that. Let's go Intrigue and hope that we get... So our potentially best outcome here. What have we got? Like, Gregarious or Deceitful would both be very good. I think Gregarious would be slightly better. So we get, like, Gregarious, we get Brawny, we get Patient, we get Shrewd, and we get Zealous. I mean, those are in insane traits, if we get lucky. You've begun to really appreciate, and you can feel the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Uh, friends forever. 60% chance of Gregarious. Oh. Parallel Paranoid. Oh my god, we actually got Shrewd, though. I didn't even notice. Um... I mean, it's not that massive. In hindsight, I'm looking at our stats and I'm like, oh, okay, hang on. Um, proud or paranoid? Trusting would be really bad. Gregarious would be very good, but we've already got a chance at Gregarious vibe. I'm going to go for this one. 
Proud is fine. I, I think that was I think that was the right move there. It's a bit too much of a gamble to go on trusting, particularly when we're trying to become an entry character at this point. Sounds like a fine union. Yeah, we're gonna marry uh, Stryanka, our mother, to Dragon Man. We gained Deceitful. Okay, so we didn't actually get Gregarious in the end, but arguably Deceitful is better that for an entry character. And we gain Lustful. Phenomenal. There we go. This character's coming out pretty good. 11 intrigue at the age of 14. Again, not fantastic, but bear in mind she didn't have genius, quick, prodigy, a particularly good educator. I mean, her educator's not bad, but not fantastic. Uh, this is this is ending up pretty well, I think. Point is your regent. Oh, our, our regent died. Right, and left us a bag of meat and a crate of silver ingots. I mean, the ingots are, are quite nice. Thank you. Did we just get another trait there? What was that? Oh, that was to say that we've got an artifact. Got it, got it, got it. Right, let's get give ourselves a new steward then. Um, let's get you building a legend. I feel like prestige might help just quell the realm a little bit. But in mind, we are a heretic in charge of a... Uh, a heretic Christian in charge of a currently Slavic realm. Bella Silver Ingots for 5.1 gold. I feel like they're better just invested into the capsule, are they not? I think investing them would, would, would result in a better outcome here. Um, let's get ourselves a new marshal then. Uh, let's go ahead and organize a raid. Uh, let's go trade, trade master no valid candidates. Ah, okay. Um... Right, let's see if we can find... I'll say not interested, because I think we've got better use of that elsewhere. Uh, can we invite a steward to court? Excellent, welcome. And can I now make you... Yeah, trade master. There we go. And give him all the trade goods. Uh, let's say focus on investing, so they'll invest in silver back into the capsule. And then you give him all the goods. Why am I min-maxing so much? Uh, because the apocalypse is about to happen any day now. <laughs> and I'm being very careful. Do we give him 100 gold? Uh, no, we have nothing for you to say. Wow, the fact that we've just sat here and accrued... Somehow, 500 gold. It must have been from another trade master dying. I didn't even notice. He's actually about to hit 16 here, which means all of these traits are going to flip. Um, oh, fuck. We lost our educator in the form of our mother. It's a good job I bloody noticed that, huh? There we go. Fucking hell. That would have been close. Uh, so we've got the choice again of paranoid. We did get paranoid. Fantastic. Good news. wonder if we'll get an event about asking whether or not the child is ours. Oh, look at that. We've got... We did get brawny. Oh, no. Rowdy became dull. No, we didn't. Became brawny. Motherfucker. Oh, pipped at the... You motherfucker. I can't believe you'd do that. So we lost Curious and gained Shrewd, but then we lost Rowdy and gained Dull, which got rid of Shrewd. So we went... We, we gained minus four net skill overall. That sucks. We did get Intricate Webweaver. We got brawny. We got... I mean, Proud, Deceitful, Lustful, Paranoid, Zealous, Erudite, Greedy. For an Intrigue Ruler, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Let's also go seduction focus. And let's see if we can find ourselves a husbando. Uh, groom and heir. We've got to make sure this dynasty lives. It's gone Nancy and then Nan Blacks and that's it. And I can't, I can't allow House Wagner to just die out like that. Bring me. Bring me a husband. Let's go uh, men in prison. Preferably not. Married. Preferably not. Ruler. Preferably not. Diplor and Jess. Uh, join court. Okay. <laughs> I guess that. Oh, I ran searching around my bed. Um... Ideally, Prodigy. Again, I'd love to I'd love to go big or go home here. Let's go join court Annie and see if we can bribe someone. Prodigy. Right. Oh, there are people we can bribe. Fantastic. Um, younger ones, preferably. Anfos is a commander. Can we... If we buy a favor, it's possible to get him to court with a favor. Send him a gift and then buy a favor from him. He's actually a good commander, too. Um, offer with promises. Grant him a council position. We can make him marshal, I guess. Yes, he'll agree. Fantastic. To the proud scholar Nan Black. So I accept your invitation. I'll have to court my old leech to join yours. I hereby request that you honor your promise. Uh, give me a second, Chief. Arrange marriage. You to us. And matrilineally. Boom. Uh, we'll take the prestige to make up for the fact we just tanked our prestige. But that's good. He's prodigy. He's chased. Um, send him a gift. Uh, send him a make him blacksmith. That's probably not a good idea. Uh, cup bearer. There we are. Fulfill the promises. That will make him our marshal, which will fire our old marshal. Who was worse, so I'm fine with that. Um, so 25% chance of us gaining honest. Oh no, I didn't realize that was a side effect. That's a cool idea. Well, luckily, we didn't lose it. Okay, can I also demand conversion from you as well? Yes, okay, that'll help with the mood. There we go. They love each other a little bit more now. Should have. Why did I not seduce him first? You big fool. Big stinky idiot. Oh well, doesn't matter too much. Oh shit. Turns out it doesn't matter. I suppose with the seduction focus and lustful as well, I guess it makes no real difference there. That was fast. And obviously we haven't we haven't slept with anyone else, so uh fifty percent chance of cynical. No 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 stick with that. Um We could try and lose proud. I guess proud isn't really doing much for us besides giving us prestige, but also pissing people off. Could try and lose greedy. 
Uh, better mind, it's only a 10% national tax modifier. And when you're gaining 1.6, uh, it's giving us 0 0.1 gold per month in exchange for minus one diplomacy. I think losing greedy would be the would be the best thing to do here. Spending all these hours laying awake in the dark was almost unbearable at first, and we gained one learning from it. Okay, we'll see what societies we can join in a minute too. Um, question is, what the hell can we do as a, tri as, as a single county tribal duke with high intrigue? Not a fucking lot. We could kidnap some people potentially. Let's see how it goes here. Now there's a scatterbrain. Oh, because we're dull? You son of a bitch. We had a daughter. Is she prodigy? That's the question. Nothing. Not much of a surprise. Magdalena. Uh, no. I'm going back to, you know where I've got to go. Back to fancy name generator. And as per usual, we are going to use Nancy as our base name. <laughs> oh, fuck. I wish I was joking. But the top suggestion is Nancy Klopp. It came up with number one suggestion, Nancy Klopp. Number two, Nancy Blacks, which is very similar to Nan Blacks that we've got right now. Nanical, Nan Toady. I mean, or we've got Nandith Kensi, which is fantastic. I've got to go for Nancy Klopp, haven't I? That's fucked up. Rumors of her and that horse are greatly exaggerated. Nancy Klopp. I guess it's supposed to be Nan Cyclop. What, what were they basing that on? Oh, name for a unicorn. No, it's definitely Nancy Klopp. Wow. That's a whole new level of cursed. Um, what the hell am I going to train you in? I guess we'll go struggle again. That that ended up pretty well for her. Okay, and then we'll get Stoyanka to educate her again, a grandmother. Oh, we can actually just guarantee Greedy being lost. I didn't realize that. Oh, shit, and we also gain charitable. I didn't know that was part of the deal. I'm fine with it. Don't get me wrong. Diplomacy plus three. That's really rounded out one of our, our worst stat there. Fantastic. Okay, so success and nomination. I guess we should nominate Nancy Klopp, much against my better judgment. Let's get you organizing a raid, see if we can start... See if we can start doing some damage. Now, what about... Uh, yeah, we do have a plot to kidnap. Okay, that's pretty good. Unfortunately, we can't really do much with it right now. Good. Here we go. Mortals, it is time once again for my influence to help shape the world. Brace yourself for the mediocre, the insane, the unbalanced, the overpowered. Random number of the day is six. What is number six? Oh, okay. <laughs> This is actually one of the suggestions from yesterday, which I was really... Uh, I was really happy about. The, the Oldenburg latrine disaster. The spymaster receives word of a castle in Oldenburg that suffers a terrible tragedy. The ruler was hosting a gathering for all lords and ladies of the realm. Unfortunately, the weight was too much for the castle to bear, and the entire dining area fell into the latrine pit, causing all who attended to drown horribly in the remains of the feast from the week prior. The provincial ruler or courtiers drowned horribly in a fecal-related accident. Oh, Count Wickman of Oldenburg. So that event can target any province in Western Germany, basically. Um... I don't know. I don't know where Oldenburg is or West Germania, which in paradox, paradox terms could be apparently also Northern Germany. Oh, you poor man. There he goes. Died in an accident along with his entire court. <laughs> Imagine if you just happened to be the player kicking around in Oldenburg at that point and you're told that you've just drowned in shit. That is a phenomenal event. I love that one. We did dodge the dice then. That was one of the less impactful events, luckily. Uh, so we did dodge the... Dodge the dungeon, dungeon Master's time around. We got another 10 years of safety, thank God. Uh, but bear in mind, as I explained before, when events are... I think I explained this anyway, but when events fire, you haven't got a chance of seeing that event again for at least 50 years. So, we're not going to have any more drownings. There is... But what I mean by that is every event that we're taking away that's that one of these simple ones, like King Fuck, or... Um, that's the official name of the event in the files, by the way. Um, that's the guy who fucked all the, all the wives. Um, or the, the latrine disaster. That is increasing the chance of some more of the apocalyptic events coming on here. Oh, cool. Student of language. I mean, hey, Dungeon Master aside, Namblex is coming out really fucking well. Start investing into troops. Oh, what about like our tribal retinue? It wouldn't give us that much. I mean, it's better than nothing. Let's go for tribal warrior retinue then. And then let's invest everything else into just straight up troop count. Rather, I, I also don't really want to spend too much gold on... Uh, sorry, too much prestige on troops. Gold is absolutely fine. Let's get you overseeing construction, which is something I wouldn't probably normally do as tribal. Well, there we are. So we'll get the market village upgraded first so that we can guarantee that we've got this income of gold. The only reason we've got so much, again, is from where I assume our, our trade master died, but also because we were sat around doing nothing for the best part of 20 years. Right, there we go. Um, yeah, let's just let's just get the market town fully upgraded first. Then we'll go for berserk barracks or whatever troop buildings that cost gold rather than prestige. Oh shit, religious tension. Um, that's not what I want to hear, court chaplain. <sighs> okay. Um, let's get you suppressing revolts then. Last thing we want is a two thousand strong peasant revolt popping up in our capital when we've got fuck. 
Okay, oh, sorry, did I say 2,000? I went, uh, 4,000. 4,000 Trump peasant revolt when we've only got 1,000 men. Bollocks. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do about that? Um... That's awful. That's, like, genuinely potentially game-ending. Uh... <laughs> uh... Oh. Right, raise those guys. Get them to meet up down there in, in, uh, licorice. Right, go. Run, my friends. Right, we're imprisoned already. You can't. That'll be game over. Brother, you can't, you can't, you can't. <laughs> what a series. There you go. The story of Nanblex. Holy fuck. Are you kidding me? What a mess. The chance of that happening is... What, what, I would love to see what chance we had for that to occur religious tensions instead. Bear in mind, he had 17 or whatever it was learning. Incredibly low chance. And then not only that, we had an incredibly low chance of the, them rebelling, especially given that we've suppressed revolts. After playing two characters, you've lost your last county. Why don't we make a deal? Or, or why don't I let you guys vote on this as well? I like this cursed world, because bear in mind, more events that happen from the Dungeon Master, the more we're building the world up into a weird place. Like, for example, most male rulers right now are going to be, um, say, for example, Otto of Germany, are going to be strong, attractive, lustful men because of the curse of King Fuck. Um, I guess there are probably some other characters. There's not going to be all characters, but there will be a lot of characters that have that effect. I think I saw a guy in Italy with it as well somewhere. Um, point is, there are going to be a lot of, of, of Master Sedusa males out there. i just type in Sedusa. That should kind of highlight it a little bit better. Right, there you go. There's a whole bunch of them. Quite clearly not all of them, but a good amount. As we're building up the world here, it's, it's making things weirder and obviously more and more interesting. So I, I don't just want to give up on, on a campaign like roll a new character. What if when we lose a dynasty, we get the game to random us just a purely new character to play as? Or maybe we design a new character and drop him somewhere in the world. So we'll say that we get one reload per dynasty. I mean, that was just massively unfortunate. What was the chance of that happening? Um, uh, what is it? Heretics attack the court chaplain? Heretic noble? I actually don't know. It was either 7% or 4%. Anyway, it's an incredibly low chance. Um, and what's the actual revolt risk of this province? I mean, zero now. I guess it happened just before he had a chance to suppress a revolt. It's now zero. It was just the fact that it fired so quickly. We got so extremely unlucky, and we now we've dealt with it permanently there. I think we should say that if we if we lose again, we'll just random a new character. I, I like that idea. Okay, I'll leave it on you guys anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll continue on right now as if our extremely unlucky event didn't just happen and pretend that pretend that nothing occurred but if it happens again I, I like the idea of maybe going for someone new out there in the world which will in turn probably open up a whole new kettle of fish for the dungeon master to fuck around with right what am i going to go for here oh hang on the long lumberjack is just so much better than the marketplace that gives the same tax income but you also gain economic tech points and a build time modifier oh shit what am i doing oh nice so we actually gain multilingual now normally you can get um diligent from that but we didn't this time around. Oh, that's so strange. I guess she just learns it easy enough. It's weird that she would be dull and also pick up languages super quickly and also be incredibly skilled here. The peace of God. Um, there are those that say, according to the Bible, God wants all peoples to be at peace with one another. But that is just mere... Is that just mere idolism? I... Idolism? Idealism. Can true peace under wisdom and the benevolence of God be ever accomplished? So just give me some potentially free traits here. 60% chance of kind. Wouldn't be bad. I mean, it doesn't really suit her. I mean, she's not necessarily a fucking horrible murderer. She's just a web weaver. Maybe she's ensuring that there is peace and prosperity and bringing justice to those who need justice bought to them, for example. Uh, so, well, I mean, it's a 60% chance. So I'm going to go for that. If she gets it, she gets it. That's quite clearly... That's, that's her personality at that point. She got it. She got it. And she's charitable, too, which was, again, purely... Purely a, a construct of, uh, apparently the Blessed Virgin Mary. So I had no idea that was going to be an outcome. So that was purely something given to us by the game there. Okay. So she's a bit, uh, she's kind of a knife in the dark, but does it for good reasons. Okay, what the hell are we going to do? Because we are now sub quite literally surrounded on all sides by foreign realm. I think we should try and conquest this guy. Chief uh, I I I I I Iverslav, the whiner of Roklaw. Ro Ro I have no idea. Look, I, I, look I, I can't help you with this one. We could just hire some troops and go and clap his cheeks. He's got 2,000. We're looking at 1,200 without the extra province. 
Um, let's, let's go ahead and make some more tribal warriors after they were smashed by the rebellion. Oh, we're, we're Perganant again. Another chance at the prodigy child. And Babi has formed a son named uh, Vitoz. I like, again. <laughs> I can't. Don't, don't hate me for this. Right. Give me a new name. Nancy is the baseline. Write me some fantasy names. Shanancy. I'm pretty happy with that. Shanancy is pretty fantastic. Okay. Shanancy. There we go. The church is a gritty thing. Always need more alms, but I have deep pockets and it's for a good cause. Thinner wallet, but a thicker soul. Lose 1.8 gold. Incredible. You're so generous. Shanancy, did he ca- My boy actually got it. He actually got Prodigy. I didn't- One time I didn't even fucking bother to check as the first thing I did there. Okay. Okay. Where do we take Shanancy? We double down on it. Try and give him Curious and- uh, Try and give him Curious. Try and give him Shrewd. Prodigy plus Shrewd. That's plus eight to everything out of the- Out of the bag. Phenomenal play. I like it. Um- Give him a guardian, and that will be... Give him his father as a guardian. Charitable is good at education trait, plus he's prodigy. Um, Stionka, our... His grandmother is also Perganant. God, this is very strange. Um, Somewhere in the far reaches of my subconscious, I know I'm in a dream, but I do not remember who I truly am. The room is disorienting at first, with furniture designed in outlandish ways, and paintings and decor that look gaudy and ridiculous. There is, however, a mirror nearby. Perhaps that will give me a clue to who I am, where I am, why I am, what I am. I glide towards the mirror. I look in the mirror and see a lovely slim girl with demure eyes and a coy smile. I wear a strange dress of a sky blue color moments later before I realize that the, local, the location of the dream changes. Next to me is a tall handsome boy with the piercing eyes and a brooding frown. Who I f whom I feel an immense connection with. My waking self wouldn't recognize him but my dream surely does. Are you doing alright? I asked awkwardly. Don't worry about me, he says dismissively. Don't need to, but it's my job to worry about you, I retort. You look hurt over that. We walk- what the fuck? We walk side by side along a riverbank in some small town or city as we engage in casual talk. We've been friends for many years, so we feel much closeness with each other. Yet he is a nuisance. And what is this tension I feel in the air? He nods, still frowning as he ruffles through my hair. He is almost like an older brother to me. And yet, and yet I want more. D s s step brother? I shyly hold his hand. We're both nervous. Knees, weak arms are heavy so much that even holding hands feels sweaty. It's an important first step. I grab him and confess my feelings. I have nothing to lose. My friend must know now before it's too late. A delay of one moment, this opportunity could be gone forever. I say mean things to him. I'm absolutely incapable of discussing things like an adult because matters of love are so sensitive and tricky. My god, that hits home. He shyly holds my hand. I didn't expect him to be so bold, to do something so aggressive and forward. At least for a first step. What do we want to go for? Um, Grab him and confess my feelings. Yeah, come on. Do it. <gasps> wow. What a nice vista. Love. He is about to say something in response to me to what had been on his mind for what must have been more than a decade since we played under the old tree by my grand grandfather's house. Oh, thank fuck for that. As children, I hold my breath, waiting to hear what is to come out of his mouth. What will change our lives forever? He smiles for the first time in years as he says, I wake up confused. A moment's pass and I worry about where that boy is and I realize that I'm not quite a sweet girl, but High Chief Desnamblex of Silesia, worshipper of High Lord Nancy. It takes me several minutes before I remember how to distinguish between reality and a dream. At least I think this is reality. 30% chance of getting chased. How dare you? Dreamt of an innocent love story. What the fuck was that? <laughs> this ain't no visual novel. Get that wig shit out of here. I'm here for war crimes, not feelings. I decided to declare war on, on Roclaw here. Uh, bear in mind, he's at war with Bohemia, so I figured he was nicely distracted. I figured we come down and grab his land while he's fucking around down there. And then the second I hit the declare war button, OBS crashed. Uh, so here we are. We, we haven't done anything. It, the war has just started, so you haven't missed out on anything. Let's put it that way. Um, I don't like that. What are you doing there? High Chief Nambalex would suffer a... Oh, okay. I can't believe we're taking attrition damage as well. Just for being in a... Oh, but if he takes that, that's 100% war score to him. Because that's our only province. I don't like that, fella. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of that. What we can do... Is if we let him take it and then move him behind him. Oh, or not. Okay, that's that's also fine because he lost a lot of troops on the garrison. That worked out pretty well. There we are. Okay, well that was uh it was a bit of a risky play, but it worked out fine. Just let voluntarily let him take the capital so that we can use it as a as a method of kind of weeding out some of his troops. It's a bold strategy. All right, there we go. And you are screwed at 65%. I guess we're chasing back down then. Excuse me. Brother, I need you to I don't care about that. Get out of here. The defensive pack against Wessex has been disbanded. Oh, that's very relevant to me. Thank you. Right, get out of here. We're good. Now what we've got to do is just take some more promises. Now, we can't siege down this one because he's actually picked up a castle somehow. Now, I'm thinking 
after we take it from this guy, but anyway, this is a forced vassalization cast as Belli. After we've taken it from him, we can put some of our stabby stabby knifey skills to good work and try and kill him, fabricate treason, find some way to remove his titles from him and put them back in our hands safely. Then we can take over what he's doing and try and take Bohemia for ourselves instead. Let's see how it goes. Uh, let them in. What, sorry? Did he just raise troops on us? That was unexpected. Okay. Not this problem. Just three wars go for us, essentially. Right, okay. 53%. 76%. And now this fucker, Lubomir's host. Oh, come on. Look, he's launched a host war against him. No! Oh, fuck. Well, now we can't get any... Has he got any troops still somewhere? His troops are gone. So we now can't do anything to gain more war score. We are just going to have to rely on ticking war score at this point, unfortunately. Well, that's not helping here. 77%. Hopefully we're in a deadlock. Because half of his county is taking control of this guy, who probably can't get enough war score to win. Although he's got two more counties there. That's assuming he can knock down the castle. Um, shit. Yeah, this is, this is bad. If he has got enough forces to take out the garrison of that castle, which he does, then we're in trouble. Oh, my sonic physician is telling me about the greatest. Time to light the fire. Unbearable. Right, okay. Do we have... Do we have a new physician? Do we have anyone that can take that? Pretty sure Nancy did exactly that thing and then died horribly, did he not? <laughs> Gotta be careful burning these physicians all the time. Oh, he won the war, though, against Bohemia and took another province, which we've now moved to. He's gonna come and help us out with this siege. Excellent. And this is gonna be worth a good chunk of war score, too, because it's... There we are, 95%. I think we've just won this by a... There we go. Thank you, host war. Much appreciated. Look at us now. My friends, look at us now. Andy's willing to pay us. For... Oh, no, he just gave us back our child. That's reasonable. Um, I thought he was ransoming back one of his family members that we kidnapped. Now we need to get rid of him. Because in terms of the Duchy of Lower Silesia, we have one county. He has three. That's not very cash money. Um, so you, my friend, I'm going to plot to kill, I think. Um... Oh, his brother's landed. Slopsk. Pretty sure that was a villain in Star Wars, wasn't it? Uh, Right, okay. How do we want to go about this, then? We need to get him into a rebellion, but even then we can't revoke titles, right? Revoke title allowed. Oh, council's not allowed to vote. Problem solved. Right, fabricate treason. And then let's get him gone. We can bribe our way up to 112%. Uh, she's the one who just joined the plot. Uh, Let's go and drop our spy master there as well. Which one is your capital? Um... This one here. Right, got it. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we've got a best spy master. Not that it'll make that much of a difference. Uh, build spy now because 7.5%. Okay, yeah, it's not as bad as I thought there. And now we wait. 120%. Hopefully that'll be enough to... Oh, hello. I'm here with a local... That's quite clearly Skyrim. I'm here with a local village elder. A wizened old man who was a foolhardy adventurer in his youth. He once got lost in a great forest, almost drowned in its swamps, but he was rescued by a mysterious man who referred to himself as a dreamer who warned about the seductive dangers of excitement and risk. Agreed. Only idiots who blindly worship excitement and ambition. Okay. We gain 25% chance of humble or 25% chance of patient. Or, what's the point of living a boring life? 25% chance of brave or arbitrary. In this situation... Bearing in mind, we have kind of bided our time here. And we're binding our time again with a plot. I think this one suits our character a bit more. We're getting humble. Oh, my God. I had a at court one day one of my young servants staring across the hall at my maids for far too long. She notices that I'm confused and immediately jerks his head away. Got it. Embarrassed of awkwardly avoiding her gaze. It's old news that he finds her attractive ass and wants the courage to tell her. He will find courage soon or she a brain. It'll work out. Silly boy and girl. Fanful, stupid, fleeting feelings or our youth. This will take the... Piety there, thank you. We're on seduction focus still, aren't we? Hang on. My man. Seduce. Forge armor. Forge weapon. Oh, he's a core blacksmith. Got it. Let's see if we can win him over here. Let's see if we can win him over. Could have been worse. We'll get him. Don't you worry. We will get this man. I won't give up just yet. Come on. Oh, his wife's a ruler as well? Holy shit. Okay, we've got to be careful here. Meet in my room, my lord. Ah. Good shit. Veni Vidi Vici. Gain some opinion. Oh, I should have just let him become a lover, I guess. Yeah, I really should have. I didn't realize that that... Okay, let's go for a seduction again. Done. Uh, fall in love with him. 100. Now, I'm hoping that will let us... Oh, I was going to say, I'm hoping that will give us a higher plot power. Because he now trusts us more or something like that. But I guess not. Get him to convert. There we go. Now, that's going to piss off all of his court. No, it actually dropped it even further. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, should really just, I should just stop pressing buttons at this point, shouldn't I? Um, 
Well, I've royally screwed that up. I mean, we haven't. We've still got a chance for it to fire. Let's leave it there for today. The goal, do not forget, is to try and form the Holy Roman Empire. We're doing a great job. We've gained four provinces today, which, jokes aside, is actually not too terrible for a single county heretic in the middle of nowhere. Let me know what you think about the reload thing. Uh, whether or not we should just accept that if a dynasty gets wiped out, then that's the end of them. Um, and maybe roll another character in, in this mad world that we've got. No, don't say those words. Uh, in this mad world that we've got. Or whether we should just reload and carry on as our dynasty. I'll leave that down to you guys. Don't forget suggestions down below. I will be picking my favorite mechanically and whatever is most upvoted from that episode as things to go into the game. Thank you for watching. And maybe I'll pick a few extras as well as I did yesterday. Bear in mind, I said I was going to pick two and then I ended up adding four. So, good luck. And hopefully you guys enjoy this. Well, like I said, we'll release it episode five. That gives me time to get a good few more uh, different additions into it. A big thank you goes out to Valorain, Hoopaloop, Michael Woolen, Darth Hawk, Silkworm, Gwena, c -Mac, Chase, Bacon Kitten, Kamara Shmail, Kyle, Layla, Jackson Woodman, Huey Longdong, and Alchemia for their support. The Insane Tier lovers on Patreon. Big thanks to you guys along with everyone else, of course, the Insane Tiers for making the channel possible, making the modding possible, making the, the videos and everything possible in the first place. But big thanks to these guys for making YouTube viable in 2020. And a thank you as well goes out to Hey, I'm Alex, Dranmere, Kane GB, Brittany Lee, Genji Zerka, Cody Cope, Bokbin, Udrick Haddon, Chronic Blob, Sporetti, Demon Boy, Yoran DeVries, Astro, Sirtle the Swede, Erotha, Talar, Shittle the, and of course, all the other patrons for making this adventure of the Nancy worshippers possible in the first place. Big thank you to you guys. See you all tomorrow for some new chaos.